There's a lot of different k a o s o y dishes across Southeast Asia. The Lao style is a noodle soup with thick strands of rice noodles topped off with pork soybean sauce and clear broth. I just love watching the red sauce diffuse through as I mix the noodles. สบายดีพี่น้อง Hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. We are here for another episode of more Lao food, and I have. One of my favorite noodle dishes that is all over Southeast Asia. You probably have seen it in Thailand, in Burma, and did you know we even have a Lao style? We are making khao soy Lao. Khao soy means cut rice, and there are a lot of different types of khao soy. Khao soy Lao uses ground pork fermented bean paste with wide noodles, as you can see. Thai khao soy uses a curry coconut base with deep fried crispy egg noodles. And then, lastly, Burmese khao soy uses a lot of different spices like turmeric, coriander, cumin. That's a lot of khao soy. Khao soy Lao is very popular in Luang Prabang. You'll find all different types of noodle stalls over there. I highly recommend visiting one of the khao soy stalls because you will be in for a treat. Since we're not in Laos, we're going to be making my variation of khao soy. So let's get into it. Khao soy is broken into two parts. The first part is making the delicious broth, and then the second part is making the ground pork fermented bean sauce. With any broth, you want to make sure that you blanch the bones. So we're using pork bones today. So go ahead and blanch the bones in boiling water for 10 minutes. Once all of the debris is out, you're going to take the bones out, rinse them off for just a bit. Go ahead and put all the bones right into the clean water, and then you're going to add some ginger. If you can't find coriander root, go ahead and use cilantro stems instead, and that's what I'm using today. Coriander and cilantro are two different words for the same thing. Coriander references the seeds, roots, and the entire plant, while cilantro references the stem and leaves. I know it's confusing, and then add in your yellow onion, a whole bulb of garlic, and then lastly salt for taste. And we're gonna let this cook off for about one hour. Make sure the lid is on top and it's on a gentle simmer, and we'll check on it just a bit. Now we can go focus on the pork sauce. The khao soy sauce is really important because that's where a lot of the flavor is at. So let's assemble the khao soy sauce. Let's grab vegetable oil, pour it over the pan. Let's have that heat up. And then you can grab the red curry paste and saute that for about one to two minutes. Go ahead and pour the diced up Roma tomatoes on in. These tomatoes have naturally occurring MSG in them, just like grapes, cheese, and mushroom. MSG is not bad. Let me repeat: MSG is not bad. MSG is not only found in Asian products, but it's found in general products like stock cubes, condiments, gravies, and even chips. The FDA has said that it's safe, so go ahead and add a little MSG to your life. And you want to cook those until they're wilted, about three to four minutes. Following that, you're going to grab the ground pork and saute that till everything's well cooked. You want to make sure that everything is broken apart. Go ahead and grab your soybean paste, pour it right on top, then your black pepper and your salt. We're going to let this cook off for 10 minutes. So make sure you mix it well so it evenly cooks. Now let's put all the ingredients together, and we should have a noodle dish by the end of this. I'm gonna grab my noodles, put it right into the bowl. You want to label a good amount of that hot broth right in, and that'll help finish the cooking process. And then grab your pork sauce and put a good amount right on top. And we're gonna garnish this with cilantro, green onions, a little a side of some fresh peppers, and feel free to add a splash of fish sauce. That is how you make khao soy. I want to share this dish with someone, and I have a special guest with me today. So I'm gonna bring them in so they can come and enjoy this dish with us. All right, hi everyone. So my special guest right here is Nathan Ramos Parks. Hello. Hi. Hi. Here, we here we go. I mean, this pork bone is like it just falls apart, right? It falls apart. That's the best part. What I love, I love an Asian soup where any like everyone kind of has their kind of version of you know a bone soup. Yes. With, with some you know you get the citrus and then there's the the fermented moment, and this the heat. Mm. Like, it's just kind of like the perfectly balanced kind of you know. It is for a cold winter's day in oh, yeah. California. <laughs> Are you? What did you grow up eating? Mm. Um, my mom is a Korean immigrant. My dad's Filipino, but from Texas, mm. and so I mean, my dad would make a lot of Tex-Mex. My mom would make 
Korean food all the time. I love so, Korean food. So I mean, food. like you know, like oxtail soup, kimchi jjigae, mm -hmm. you know, any kind of like curry and rice, and you know, I mean, a lot of instant noodles too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right on. How do people find out about you? Uh, any projects, social media, anything you want to mention? Um, I mean, just basically just like my Instagram, which is okay. at Nathan Ramos Park, and um, yeah, I mean, I. I just did the CBS um, Diversity Showcase, which was really awesome. Great. And then I, um, I, I work as a writer. That's I just wild. working on some other projects okay. and everything, and um, that should be coming out not okay. not shortly, but um, in the future. Soon, <laughs> soon. All right, Nathan. Thank you so much for coming on this episode. Right. I'm gonna head out and also eat. So if you like this video, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and then we will see you next time on Sang's Kitchen. Bye. Bye.